Oh, these guys have RPGs. <laughs> RPGs versus boats is ridiculous. All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to Ancient Warfare 3. Not to be confused with the two previous iterations. What we have here is a Steam Workshop battle called Sea of Thieves. What we're going to be doing is having our beautiful... In, in, in honor of the Raft series, which I'm really, really enjoying playing lately, I figured, you know, naval battles would be a lot of fun to show off. I have no idea where these guys are going because those are islands, friends. Guys, those are islands. Can I be him? I want to be him. Click on a unit to control. I would like to control whoever's in charge of this ship and first off, jump off overboard. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you- that's an island! Oh my god, here, I'm gonna be this guy. Oh my god, the, the island's moving away from us. Well, clearly physics and collisions and stuff like that need to be worked on. Uh, you know, I don't even wanna- I don't wanna be him anymore. Jump overboard, friend. Oh, I can't do it anymore, boss! Gosh, these ships look great. So, I forgot that when you choose a player and you die, you have to restart. Some of the fundamentals of this game are still very, very basic, but it still has, I think, the best sandbox. I really do. The best sandbox of any other game. Tabs doesn't have as good of a sandbox. Ravenfield doesn't even have as good of a sandbox. Like, it's it, this is literally like a mix of a battle simulator, a sandbox, and kind of the- oh my gosh, someone just needs to get rid of these islands, because the- the AI's like, That's not a sandbox, dude. But you can see the limitations. The, uh, the players themselves, the, the characters are like, not as dynamic as a, a Ravenfield, and not even close to as dynamic as Tabs. And the AI is downright rudimentary. But good lord, is this game not gorgeous. Come on, fire your muskets, boys! Oh, they're giving- they're, they're lining up the salvos! We've got pirates! Oh, how many, does this one have more cannons? It looks like it might. Oh, ho, ho. see, and if they had, like, more, uh, physics-based effects, like, if Tabs could do this, oh my god. But instead, I think that Tabs is focusing on other things, instead of that rich single-player sandbox. And look at this. Hey, we're just trying to make one super boat. Just one big super boat. I don't know if this Sea of Thieves raft battle is going to work, but they are lining up, but yeah, can you just imagine if all of those, if, if Tabs, Ravenfield, and Ancient Warfare all were to combine and have one glorious love child of a game, that would give me everything I ever wanted. Oh man, what are you guys doing? Oh, uh, we're just dying, you know, we're just taking musket balls to the face. Oh, this ship is sinking. It's going down, boys. Now, is- are they sinking yet? It looks like they might be riding a little bit low. I don't know what happened to these people, but they just got absolutely crushed. But what we're gonna be doing today is naval battles. The biggest and most interesting naval battles that we've seen in games, maybe, ever. At least, to where you have that ability to see, like, a big battle, but also the intricate little things. Like, what happens to- what happens to Sailor Billy Bones Jones? It's Billy Bones Jeffrey. I don't give a tits what your name is, mate. Hello, my name's Billy Bones. I'm about 31 year old. I always have uh, eight daughters and 67 sons. And it's like that guinea pig that was on the news the other day for breaking out and, you know, and then the next thing you know, I have no idea what I'm talking about anymore because I'm talking about guinea pigs while watching a pirate naval battle. And that just goes to show you that the red team clearly has got the better tactics today because they're employing the guinea pig technique. A maneuver that even great Admiral Nelson himself could not master, nor was even aware of. But this red ship is a sinking- and oh, look at these- look at these poor guys. We's going under, Baron! And then once the water touches them, they just perish. Seriously, seriously, seriously. I love the colors, I love- oh, is blue sinking? He's rocking. He's rocking a bit. Red's here. The other blue ship is stuck on an island. Oh, man. Dude, imagine if they had Greek fire. Ooh. Now, I'm thinking this blue ship's going down because he's not able to maneuver in such a way to get his cannons to bear. And there he goes. He is going down. Down, down, down to David Jones's locker. Oh, my God. Like, can you imagine? These poor guys. 
Oh, these two guys are kicking everybody's butt. Because the A's like, there is nothing wrong here. We're actually thinking. And the blue team, which did not. Yes, I know. I know. But Baron, they didn't even use the guinea pig maneuver. And I agree. They didn't. I don't even know what the guinea pig maneuver is, but they didn't do it. And it looks like, oh, this poor guy. Hey, I'm just going scuba diving. Oh, my God. Under the sea. Under the sea. See, if they could figure out water effects, you could have U-boats and submarines. Look at this. It's an absolute treasure trove of wrecks. Now, I'm playing this in honor of Raft and in honor of the Sea of Thieves update. Whoa. Oh, I was going to say, what's with the, uh... Look at these. these guys do survive a little bit. They're just, they're just kind of lollygagging here. And this, the red captain's like, I'm going down with me ship. He should have an epic beard and a parrot and a beautiful pirate hat. But it is a blue victory. Here we go. We're going to run this one again. But I'm going to add some ships. Oh, I'm excited. We've got, oh, we've got Chinese ships and we got World War Land landing vessels. All right. So we've cleared out the map, right? And these actually aren't pirate era ships, I realize. They are in the, in the files, they're called medieval warships right so we've got these medieval i want to call i almost said medieval pirate ships but yeah i mean they kind of look like the ships you'd see in sea of thieves right now we don't have any true rafts however we do have chinese style junks so check this out right we're gonna have a bunch of chinese pirates here or maybe thai pirates i'm not sure but yeah maybe thai pirates would be more fitting i don't know there was pirates in both china and thailand you know i mean like think those sprawling coastlines and look at this this is their formation is they have less cannons, right? So they've got two ships with cor four cannons, only two per side. They've got these three little gunboats, which actually aren't even really gunboats. They've just got a bunch of dudes with muskets. And then they've got troop transports, and these formations are uh, mimicked. Now, each ship might have a few different people or different weapons on board, but it's mostly the same formation. So they outnumber... The enemy, um, we'll call these the Brits, right? This is the British, the Redcoats, and they are engaging with uh, Chinese pirates off the coast of um, Hong Kong, maybe, right? So let us start the battle. A few of the Chinese uh, pirates are, oh, there we go, there we go. They're all moving. There are a few issues with the pathfinding and, and sailing in formation. These guys are trying to get their guns to bear. This ship is like, no, my, we's, uh, actually, we will not fight them. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have a good accent for it. Come on. What are you... What are these... These... What are the... Some of the gunboats are not engaging. Now, I'm really curious to see cannons go up against these little... Uh, these little gunboats that their offensive weaponry is just the muskets on board. But it is possible for them to take out these enemy ships i'm actually kind of curious but basically the three factions we have and i wish we could kind of do a tournament of the champions on the sea who is king and lord of the oceans well Poseidon, lord of the ocean is also lord of the ocean bro but it makes you wonder vikings the medievals aka the pirates or you know the redcoats and then we've got the chinese pirates and i guess it all depends on the number of ships it looks like the first skirmish is going to go down over here where the redcoats have three giant warships all right so who's gonna oh these guys got the first no i thought they're firing their muskets nobody has fallen yet the musket balls are missing oh my god this is going to be so bad that guy falls over Oh, they're turning broadsides. Why are you turning broadsides? You're going to take all these cannons to the face. Fire the cannons, darn you. Fire them. They're not interested. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. We, we do have some cannons. Are they going to fire? Oh, the Chinese fire the first shots. The Chinese pirates, the, the redcoats. I don't know if they're, if they're loading their cannons or what. Or if it's just some AIs that herp in the derpin right now. But if this continues to be the case, see, this is what I'm saying. It's a beautiful sandbox, but if there was just some, ooh, over here, the redcoats are firing. How did that guy get in the water? I saw them fire. Now we need, we need, why am I not able to hear gunshots? That's really weird. Look at that, the muskets fall. Oh, there we go. We got a full salvo here. And it ripped apart a lot of the cannon crew. Oh, man. I don't think these cannons are going to be able to fire because there's no one to crew them. This ship is entirely demanned. They've got nobody left. I think we've got to spread the ships out more if we want to have this really work properly. All right, so I wasn't, I'm not able, I haven't figured out how to move them. See, this is one of those things that you wish it was a little more intuitive, but 
I did find something cool. So we can change the projectile types. So what the Chinese pirates are going to do, we're going to have a little trick up their sleeves. Now, the, the British are like, oh, they're coming in small ships. So what we're going to do is use a mix of solid shot, see, by default, and then scatter shot. Scatter shot to basically be more effective against the, uh, all the, like, since it's so many infantry, right? But... The Chinese pirates are using explosive rounds. They're new, and in fact, they even have one of these ships is going to get the new technology, which is scatter explosive. Actually, two of them are. I don't know how this is going to go, but you know what? Let's try it. So I haven't been able to figure out how to move them. It's really annoying. All the, all the buttons you think would work. Oh, wow. Look at this. The total number, there are only 102 Chinese pirates, even though they have more. So then, you know what? We got to give them more ships don't we? Alright, so here we go. These are the ships that I have available. Come in here, search ship. I even searched boat. Raft. No rafts. Oh, there's a unit battering ram. Ship. Now, I want to give them another armed trawler, we'll call them. So, these ships are going to be the lures, right? Now, we got to just get pirate. And we'll add a few blunderbusses on the front of these guys. And we're going to give them explosive rounds. Actually, these ones are the dummies, so we're going to give them default rounds. This is how the Chinese pirates lure the Redcoats in. The Royal Navy. And we're, yeah, we'll make them default. Now, I'm thinking maybe to change it up a little bit more, what we do is we lure them to scatter. I think that's what we have to do. So I'm gonna have like two Chinese ships approaching this way. Well, and actually make it three to scatter them. See, in Ravenfield I can't do stuff like this, in Tabs I can't do stuff like this, but I can do it in Ancient Warfare 3, which makes me think that in terms of like the battle simulator and games like that, you really have... You know, it has a place in it. All right, so the Chinese still have less numbers, but they're trying to use tactics as well as some pretty interesting weaponry. And here we go. I think this is actually good. Oh, uh, these two ships are kind of squaring off. But these two, these uh, three little trawlers here with musket men only. I'm not sure how they're going to do, but I'm actually very curious. Oh, we got a full salvo lining up, I think. Come on, fire the full salvo. It depends. Sometimes they fire, sometimes they don't. I'm not sure. Like, I wish you could program. Oh, there we go. There's cannons firing. Oh, they got the gunner. Okay, or rather the uh, pilot, the captain of it. And these guys have, like, no chance rolling up to, like, and look, and, and they're just programmed. Like, oh, let's give them the broadside, old chap. And there we go. There's everybody down. So they have scattered it, and here's the dummy ships that are gonna walk in and basically, or sail in, rather, they ain't walking, which give time for the Chinese flotilla to come into range. So it looks like these guys that ship is going down. Oh, they're turning their broadsides. Now, remember, this Chinese ship only has a uh, default round. So it's it's a distractionary ship as well as something. Oh, one of the one of the Royal Marines up there has taken some shots. In fact, two of them are down. Look at them exchanging shots. Now, if we had a little the staccato of gunfire, musket fire, and maybe a little bit of steam like, oh, it makes you wonder if Rise of Liberty could evolve into a game like this. I'm going to have to talk to the developer, man, because... Rise of Liberty would work very well. Can you imagine Rise of Liberty working in a fashion like this? Guys, what do you, what do you, like, what's your dream game when you think of, like, Rise of Liberty, Ravenfield, Tabs, and Ancient Warfare? Oh, here we go. Here's the, the giant flotilla is rolling up right now. Now, that Chinese gunboat is sinking. There is, in fact, one guy who actually survived, only to perish while sinking. And these royal- did they about face or did the marines walk over to this side? I think they may have about faced. Okay, here we go. What's happening over here? Oh, is this- is this the distraction or is this the explosive? Oh, they missed both their shots! You cannot do that if you are the Chinese pirate navy. Because their distraction ship went down. This is one that needs to hit its target. I think they have explosive rounds. Uh, if, oh, and they're firing scatter rounds. There we go. You saw a little bit of an explosion. And in fact, most of the crew is cleared. I think they're aiming. I think since it's scatter explosive, they may not be aiming for the ship itself, but the crew members on the top. They're trying to clear the decks. While, oh, there we go. So there are some explosive ones, but you can see that this Chinese ship is going to eventually sink. And look at this. You, you just can't, you can't have it because here comes the reinforcements. Wait a minute. 
And see, this one who's been slugging it out for most of the game has finally met its match against... This is still the distraction gunboat. The two big ones are here. Look at this. This is an absolute just like... Giant naval battle. It is glorious. The red coats are sinking. The captain's going down with his ship, and he's got one of his trusty marines, Steven. Good old Steven the marine. There is this Chinese junk sinking yet? Oh, this is the infantry one. That's interesting. So they're just squaring off muskets. What? What brave, brave, but you know, crazy, crazy, truly, truly. Oh no, that's not good. They're firing scatter shot. It needs to be a little more dynamic, but good lord. The be most beautiful and best sandbox of them all. And I mean, I love that we can like, I can just imagine whatever I want and, well not almost, well, like, oh, you know, within a certain... What are these ships doing? They're trying to make more. So, they're like, oh, I've got an idea. If we rub together, we can make little ships. And those little ships will carry on the battle. Cause I think we're sinking. We're sinking, we're sinking! Well, what are you thinking about, Yavol? Oh, look at this, the little musket raft. Oh, that guy just took a shot. Hello, governor. You's not welcome around here. But, yep. Look at these, like, what are you guys doing? Uh, we're just kind of scared, and both those British ships are sinking anyway. Wow! So, the explosive rounds and adding the extra ships have taken down the Redcoats. Look at that. Oh man, this ship is completely decrewed. They're scattershot. They're like, we wasn't prepared for Chinese explosive shells. We underestimated our enemy, but we will not this time, for we are going to go to diplomatic relations with a, a nearby neighbor for some extra men in material. And it is a blue victory. The Chinese pirates victorious. What is this? The British have recruited the Saxons or the Normans, rather, since they have access to these crossbows. Rolo and his kin, even though the timelines are definitely getting a little messy. They've got longbowmen who apparently are content to- Oh, the musket bowls, mate! Oh, we didn't put any, any crossbowmen on that boat. They've got crossbows, they've got longbows. Have they hit anybody? Oh, they're firing their shells here. So, oh, and these guys are in a very interesting maneuver. <laughs> they're getting absolutely whooped. Have you even- this guy's got a crossbow in his chin, and that one's got it in his elbow. Oh, this one actually went down to arrow fire. So, they're more or less a distraction, but- oh my gosh, these poor guys. But it allows the redcoat ships. Her Majesty's Navy, hmm, spot of tea, my good gentlemen. Oh my god, that cannonball like ricocheted and knocked this guy out. <laughs> That's glorious. So the Normans aren't doing too well. Needless to say, they brought bows and arrows to a gunfight. However, they did manage to almost clear one of these. Now, where are these arrows going? You can hear them whistling. Oh, these guys are going down with their ship. I don't know how they sank. A rogue cannonball, maybe? Look at it. Look at all the arrows just sticking into this this man. He's surviving. Ugh. Well, he was surviving. All right. I'm curious what the Normans are gonna do. They are mixing up. They are distracting. But they need. I wish we could have fire ships. I wish we could have triremes. And I wish the AI was enough to where the infantry would be able to board each other. Because I don't think they are. But you know what? Let's. Tr we could try it. We should try it, shouldn't we? After this. And look at these. What are you- what are you guys doing? Oh, we's playing Ring Around the Roses, Lord. Oh, we've got- we, these guys- we, they got two operational cannons. Oh, this ship is just got wrecked. Fire the cannons! This is- is this- no, this is the distraction ship. It's using solid shot. Oh, Mr. Sniper McGee, he's got a blunderbuss, so I guess he's not much of a sniper. Oh, the captain went down. One of the cannon crew went down. This is not looking good. The great naval battle of our time. The Chinese pirates versus the British marines and Royal Navy. And look at this. They're just like, we're just gonna build a giant raft. We've been watching your series Raft Baron and we really like it. And things are just getting absolutely crazy out here. But we have all three ship types. Well, technically there's the World War One one. I'm not sure how zombies would do, but there is a zombies mode in Ancient Warfare 3. Which I'm kind of curious. But let me know what kind of custom battles we can do in the next time. Uh, in the next time. As we're watching the HMS Christopher Non-Columbus. What would be the Christopher Columbo? I don't know. 
We'll call it the HMS Ark Royal. Oh, we've lost one of our greatest marines. Cannibals is coming in, firing scatter shot. Now this ship, all these ships are jammed up, so they're not able to turn their cannons. So this guy's just gonna have whatever he wants. He can, he's gonna be able to fire whatever he wants at them without fear of return fire. There needs to be more dynamism, more physics, more effect. Fire for effects, gentlemen. But I mean, you you can't you can't deny the beauty of the sandbox. I mean, I'm I'm able to put Chinese pirates up against, you know, medieval ships that were acting as the Royal Navy, and we're add, able to add Vikings. But all the ships are stuck. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? Now we should hear the dun, 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 of a full salvo going out. The cannon should be able to break and fly into the air. Oh my gosh, I want... I want a beautiful game. I want the pinnacle of gaming perfection. Hello, crew. This is the cannon crew. Oh, we're sinking, me lord! Oh my gosh, you are sinking. All hands will be lost. They have no lifeboats. What if there were lifeboats? The amount of possibilities for these games just blows my imagination's mind. And these guys are just kind of derping. They're still shooting at a destroyed gunboat. But lord, is this not beautiful? What a great, great and glorious endeavor here. You know what? I think that's about as much as we're gonna get out of that. Let's see what else we got. So when you go to Steam Workshop, what I just played was, um, Browse. It was called Sea of Thieves. And there's one called Dunkirk, which looks pretty cool. Yeah, we played the Sea of Thieves Alien Campaign Level 6. The War. Dream Team vs. Zombies. I want I'm curious about this one. This one looks interesting. I need to subscribe to it, but then you need to go back. Okay. And then you need to load it. Which makes sense. Now we've got a little bit- Oh, look at the time of day. Oh, this is- This is really cool. Look at this battle. So it looks like- Oh my gosh, there's like a civil war happening. A mutiny, maybe? On the ship? And then we've got the Viking invaders with stop signs? Why do they have stop signs? And what are, what are these, blow darts? This is crazy. We need war canoes. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. All right, uh, I'm gonna do a few environmental settings. We're gonna turn the weather off. The time of day will be adjusted for beauty's sake. And we're gonna play this one out. To play us out, what does that even mean? There's no words there. Oh, wait, I'm a soldier? Oh, oh, and I'm on the, wait, 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 wait. Now, why on earth was I this guy? Whose sick idea was this? Oh, and I've got a musket? And they gave me a musket. There we go, we'll spectate now. Since the dude we were given was literally on a ship surrounded by the enemy. Oh, these guys have RPGs! <laughs> RPGs versus boats is ridiculous. If this isn't gonna be the most one-sided battle I've ever seen. And what are these guys doing? Blow darting each other, man? And these guys are just chilling. Yeah, I mean, it, it's fun, but at the same time, like, look at, like, what is, what, 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 uh, the limitations. This is a game that is juxtaposed with its sheer creative freedom, but is limited by the, what would you say? The programming, I'd say. I'd even say just, it could be, it could be the dream. It should be the dream. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching another episode of Ancient Warfare 3. We have been focusing on naval battles, but I'd love to know any custom battle ideas or themes in, that you'd like to see in the next video. I hope your weekend is going great, and I'll see you guys in the next video.